okay so in the last tutorial we discussed about the gsp include action element so let's see the working of it today I can include I guess forwarded not GSP but since it's not having a parameters so let me just okay first let's see without parameter so since it will change Transaction fine, and we'll see that there is a GSP runtime library which actually includes the content. Welcome to second page. Welcome, Vitika. Forwarded page at runtime. So when it's going to welcome one dot GSP Oh you have actually included the file also so it's showing this and the welcome username and then the include pages content. Let's see the um, equivalent servlet for it. So if we go to the service method, see here it's showing the GSP runtime library which is used to include and as I told you that in this the request and response objects are shared across the pages. So in the bracket you can see that a request and a response object is also passed along with it. So this is what the include directives do. So next we have is now uh, this is about the two tags which action element which I told you. Now say we don't want to have a single line of GSP uh, in my single line of Java code inside my GSP. Because I can't afford two persons to work, like one will be writing the Java logic and another person will be writing something GSP. Means the entire line of G Java, I just want to replace it with GSP, that is complete GSP should be there. So we have some tags for that also. Uh, like just suppose in the, say, let me explain you with the example. Say I have a... student class over here which is taking two periods So here I'm having two fields name and date of birth 
No. See, I go to my welcome one dot gsp. Here, I want these parameters to be set. Let's comment it out. Uh, let's not print it also. So what I'll do is I'll create a student object over here. And then I'll say student dot. But before that I just need to the name which we entered I want to just set it to it and uh, so we can also do one more thing Now, I don't have a data box, so let me just set the name only. then I'm getting the value so let me just run it see so I'm getting that welcome to second page that is I'm getting some other thing I'm getting the name that is RJ so the bean is being set properly so this is like in the welcome1.jsp I have written a java code where I just created an object of my bean class and then I called the setter properties and I set it. So now if I want to replace these lines of code with the entire jsp tag then I can do it and for doing so we have another jsp action elements that is I'll just tell you about GSP use bean and then we have GSP set property and a GSP get property so these are the tags which you can use to do so so let's see how we can replace this line of code with these tags. So I'll just comment it out. And a tag needs to be used outside. So I'll just say GSP use bean. ID is nothing but my reference variable. Then what you need to do? Yes, then we have to have a class.
also you can define the scope over here where you want to keep this object so let me just say showing the intelligence making but say I just want to keep it in a session so you can do that now this is creating an object then I want to set the property so I'll just say JSP colon property the name say I want to hard code some value I will be having student over here because now this first line GSP used been is just creating the object that is replacing this line of code next line of code I just want to set the property so I want to set the property but which property I want to set I want to set the property for this student object so that is what we call student dot set name but then I can give the value Rahul and after that I will just say GSP colon get property so this will call the getter method so let's run it on server now here you need to enter the see I am getting welcome to second page and the Rahul was in the get property I just called the one thing so it's calling the get property method and displaying the values so this is all for the JSP action element and about the JSP tutorial. Clear? So thank you so much. This is all for the JSP and the servlets tutorial.